Okay, here we go. We're going to talk a little bit maybe about the gold and the uh, silver market outlook. You know, in in uh, basic terms, we don't want to get too involved. Uh, you know, key factors influencing gold is the uh, economic uncertainty and growth outlook. Uh Global slowdown is a big one. If, if forecasts indicate a slowdown or recession in key economies like in the U.S. or the EU, uh, investors are more likely to turn to gold, which in turn will increase the price of gold. Uh, consumer confidence uh matrix such as uh you know consumer confidence index in manufacturing uh slowdowns uh into the economic health uh will also lead to uh gold uh, investment more people will in in invest in gold and then you know got the big one the uh interest rates the federal interest rates is a big one in the u.s uh if the federal uh reserve uh signals extended periods of low interest rates uh in turn uh money's cheaper people are going to invest uh their money in gold uh, inflation trends, uh, persistent inflation. If inflation remains above a targeted level where, you know, whoever the uh, economists set <laughs> and, you know, who who are they and how they come up with these numbers, I don't know. But if uh, if the numbers stay above that, uh, it makes uh, gold more attractive. Then there's the uh, geopolitical development, uh, conf conflict and tensions, uh, you know, escalating tensions between uh, US and China is a big one, US and Russia, uh, the Ukraine, uh, all, all that uncertainty makes gold more attractive. Uh, you know, people don't want to keep their money in fiat currency because it could just dive. And so uh, gold and, and silver, you know, both these yeah, are, are the same really, I mean, uh investment demand now this is where you know gold and etfs you know ET etfs is the paper gold and i've never been a fan of uh paper gold and i don't i really don't think you should in put your money there uh because you know they outsell uh, the paper gold more than there is actual physical gold. So, you, you know, let's just, just take a number, you know. Uh, there's 100,000 ounces of uh, physical gold. Well, they'll sell, you know, 500,000 uh, ounces of paper gold. Uh, what happens if that comes crashing down? That's going to be a, a big one. Uh, then there's the, uh, uh, the resistance level of, of gold and silver. Uh, let's just take it, you know, a big resistance level has been like $2,000 of gold, uh, and say 30 well, actually, it's been less, you know, $28 of silver. Well, 
uh, gold and silver both have been pushing those above those resistance levels, and uh, which uh, shows good for gold and silver. So, uh, you know, pretty much you got both of them. You know, everything is showing that gold and silver are going to bust out. Uh, I, I really think, you know, we're going to, we're going to hit above 40 in silver. Uh, actually, I think could be more. Uh, we've already busted 2,500 and, and gold could be more. Uh, basically the same factors are the, are for both except silver silver you have industrial demand too uh you know solar panels uh electronics uh so uh you have you have that extra little uh thing pushing there which will help push silver up so then uh, people will talk to you about the gold to silver ratio in, you know, it's how many uh, ounces of uh, silver it'll take to equal an ounce of gold. Well, that used to be... Uh, used to follow pretty well but it doesn't anymore so I I, I kind of take that one and throw that to the side because uh, uh, you know it used to it, it used to follow pretty you know uh, close that you know, like 20 ounces of silver to an ounce of gold or whatever but now it's gotten crazy. So uh, I really don't pay attention to that one anymore. So, you know, it's uh, whatever you think, uh, you know, supply issues, uh, mining production trends, uh, it, you know, it costs more to uh, mine silver uh, actually, it costs more to mine silver than it sells for a lot of the times. But, uh, you, you know, that's catching up now, too. Uh, so, you know, these are some of the, the you know, basic issues of the gold and silver market uh, without getting into it. Uh, you know, real technical terms or anything. You know, it's just some of the basic things that, you know, drive silver and gold prices. So just wanted to give you, you know, a uh, quick little look into it. Uh, I think uh, I'll do a quick little video too on, uh, you know, uh, beginners. Uh, silver and gold, you know, buying, uh, you know, what, what's, you know, an LCS, uh, what's gold a spot and uh, the premiums. So I may do a little one of those real quick, but that's a quick rundown of the uh, gold and uh, silver market you know what kind of drives them uh like i said it's not everything and it's by far uh yeah by far <laughs> uh anything technical about it but here you go you got your gold and you got your silver and uh you know, I like them both. Uh, what you prefer is, you know, up to you. I personally think uh, silver is kind of the way to go. 
but we'll talk about that more in an upcoming video. So anyway, you guys uh, uh, take care and we'll uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and, uh, and remember we've got uh, most Saturdays we have our live streams where you can uh, see a lot of uh, cool coins and um, and buy some if you want. So <laughs> anyway, uh, take care.